Your Excellencies, former presidents of this car, President of uh, President Goodluck Jonathan and your dear wife, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and your your Excellency, the former Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar, and my brother, the spouse, my colleagues from the National Assembly, both from the Green Chambers and the Red Chambers. And brothers, sisters, and my lords spiritual, members of the fourth state of them. We are humbled, family, and I am humbled, Idua. We are even humbled as a state at the array of personalities here today to lay my very humble father to rest. Not even in the wildest of imagination or dream will any of us expect the caliber and timber of Nigerians here present. My job has been done by my leader and our father here in the States, the former president of this country, by thanking all of us, not forgetting my brother and friend who these days sneaks in and he sneaks out the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. If not that he was announced, he will go and take the remotest seat where nobody will know that a man of that high timber is here with us. Whatever anybody does, if he builds a house for you, builds a city for you, marries wife for you, you can only say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, my family, a thankful state. Even when the weather is not friendly, the former president just whispered to my ears, if weather was so bad in Lagos, we expect that he will call to say, the weather is so bad, I cannot make it. But he's here with us in spite of the poor weather. Thank you, sir. The vice president yesterday, since on Thursday, his advance team has been here with us. And yesterday, we were called to say there is an urgent assignment at Enugu. And so, he may not be able to make it. Thereafter, I received a call from him, letting me know that if the timing is okay, he will still want to be in this funeral. And we did a little tickling with the timing. And let me apologize to some of us, particularly to the Archbishop. That was the reason that uh, you had to preach for four hours. <laughs> and we 
tinkered with it. He had an official engagement today, and he still had time again to be with us here in Bielsa, in this countryside of Bielsa. Thank you, sir. And he's here with his wife. Yesterday night, we are playing King of Glory Chapel. Shall we please uh, put our hands together for them? Well, I'd like to once again recognize the presence in our midst of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the just concluded general elections. Let's please appreciate Mr. Peter Gregory Obi. Thank you. May I at this point, with utmost respect and humility, invite a man who, of course, is living the legacy of his beloved father. Like the our father who preached the sermon mentioned he is living like the son of a teacher. And of course, by all sons are reaping the benefits of what his father implanted in his life. If you step out of this place, you don't need to be told that he's working hard to improve the standard of 